you can shoot it in APS-C mode for video and stills. So this 2470 will essentially become 36 to 105. And I can't tell you how many times I had to shoot it in APS-C mode because I couldn't get the reach far enough. And the image quality still looks amazing even in APS-C mode for video and for stills. Another thing that many people don't talk much about is that this camera body has eight stops of IBIS, which is in-body stabilization. And the IBIS works so incredible that I don't use my gimbal anymore. If you're a video shooter, I would get this camera just for the IBIS alone. I've had the A7S 3 I've had the A7 IV, the ZV-E1, and the IBIS on this just blows all of those cameras away. Just the image quality coming out of the EVF and the LCD just make the screen really enjoyable to use on the A7R5. Whenever I'm switching between my A7 IV, ZV-E1, and my A7R5, the LCD and the EVF on this is so much more enjoyable to use. Being able to shoot in APS-C mode and full frame, the 8 stops of IBIS, and the super enjoyable to use EVF and LCD, just those three reasons alone makes me grab this camera over the A7 IV and ZV-E1. And we haven't even gone over the AI functions and the autofocus of this camera yet. And this is why I prefer the A7R5 over the other cameras that I currently own.